that's right, a big crane is coming up to put up those amazing big walls on that house. And we're gonna film it live for you guys watching the show. All right, we're here with the man himself, Till Up Fencing, Gerhard. What is going on here? Oh, we, we had to knock a fence down, brick fence that was leaning over. It was busy falling on the house. So we took that all down, put new footings in, and now we've got the 70 ton crane lifting these panels into position. And, and this was like a serious, delicate operation. I see power lines hanging up over here. Here that specializes in working around power lines. Easier to, today to make sure that we don't hook any power lines. So you're going to get these walls, freshly, brand new, panels and you're going to line up the there. side in the fence there. And how long is this going to take? Uh, about an hour at the most. At one hour, you got a brand new fence done. And overall, this whole job, how long did it take? Uh, a couple of weeks from start. A couple of weeks, a brand new concrete fence, and these are proper, proper solid ones. They've got the actual crane behind it, and I guess it's gonna swivel around, catch these walls without touching the power lines, and then swivel back and put the fence down. Do you think it's gonna work? It's gonna be fun to watch. <laughs> Dan, the guy who runs the show for AB Crane Hire. Dan, you gotta tell me, what are you doing? How, how are you gonna avoid the power lines? We've got a spotter over here, Shannon. And mate, he'll just be watching the power lines. So you're making sure you have a spotter, and how much yeah. effort and work did you put in in the planning stage to make sure nothing gets hurt? Uh, a bit of lift stu studies and yeah, things like that, mate. Studies, so, lift studies, yeah, technical yeah, mate. engineering, all that kind all of stuff. All engineering, yep. And how often do you do these kind of procedures? Uh, depends on the job we do. Depends so if we close the power lines or whatever, and. You yeah. replace the power line? No, no, if we get close to the power lines, yeah, yeah, yeah. then yeah. And you, do you specialize in moving walls or do you do all sorts of other jobs? No, we do everything, mate. We're actually doing the, the hotter over here. The hotter? Yeah. Oh, that's the so, art center, they're doing the art center. Yeah, we're what doing what the art center. What are you going to do with that? Well, we do mobile cranes on it. So we have tower cranes on it, mobile cranes on it. So is this the biggest crane you've got? Uh, no, we've got a 130 ton. 100? How, how much bigger is that? Uh, what do we got? The 70, so you've got another, what? 60 ton on top of that. So it's twice the size? Pretty much twice the size of and that. How do, what road does it go on? What roads? Yeah, does it actually... Yeah, yeah, it drives all on roads. Yeah. It drives all on roads. Yeah. And it fits in to places? Maybe not as tight as that, but we fit into a lot of tight places, mate. And what would you use that like for? Uh, we use it for a lot of like high-rise work and... Yeah. Oh, skyscrapers, you build those. Maybe not skyscrapers, but you know, big jobs like this. All right, the gotta, Yeah, like the hoder yeah, and all yeah. that, so yeah. Hey, you've Good got job. a cool job, cool machinery. Yeah, it's a cool job. Yeah. And what's the smallest crane? Uh, smallest crane would be, what have we got, a 15 ton fronter. 15 ton fronter. Yep. See, talking technical terms, yeah. we're gonna have to Google this stuff, find out what it is. Yeah. But so, you just have a, a fleet of cranes. Yeah, he's got a few cranes, yeah, for you, sure. And you just pick whichever one is right for the job. Whatever's right for the job. Deliver it. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah, it's cool. Forward to see this job. Yeah, yeah. It looks no, good, good. Job, boys, twisting it around, yeah. almost got to the other side. Once he punches his last, what, two more sections out, you're ready to roll. being lifted up in the air, mid-air, absolutely amazing, that is incredible. Wow. Hope it doesn't fall in the house now.
So that's the first panel, it's been placed on the wall. They use a level to make sure it's all nice and straight because you don't want to wonk you one. Once it's down, you're not going to get sprained back, lift it back up again. So hopefully the other ones will go smoothly, looking good so far. I'm excited to see how the final touches is going to be. But yeah, first one looks good. It was a bit, I've got to say, it was a bit tense, especially when it was going over the house. But they managed to do it once, so hopefully they'll be able to do it again. Over here behind me, you can see a nice showpiece on the difference between block, brick, and pure concrete walls. So over here we've got block, and as you can see, over time, cracks do fall over the block. So it doesn't produce some quality. The brick one, the reason why the side fence is getting replaced because it was brick, and that's what fell over. So that one's being completely replaced because it doesn't survive the test of time. And interestingly enough, brick costs three times as much as pure concrete walls because they have to be manually labored, placed down individually. So that's block, which is, as you can see, defects over time, bricks, as you can see there's a crack over here. It's gonna be falling off, but the big boy concrete, the solid walls you can see behind me, they're curated after two weeks, two or three weeks of curation, so it's solid and hopefully it will last. So as you can see, the wall is going into place, nice and secure, accurate driven cranes, making sure they don't hit any electrical works and make sure the end client is happy. So happy, <laughs> the new owner of the fences, how do you feel? Oh, I feel so happy, relieved. Not looking forward to the painting though. <laughs>